this is me from Rainbow Extreme, and this time is episode 17 of my Spectacle Island Reason Challenge on Farm Simulator 19. If you're looking for, then please stay tuned. First of all, we put fills 14 and 15, or oh, sorry, 13 and 14. And they are ready to harvest, so we'll go and harvest that very shortly. With this, the new Holland TX36 is the Chopper Edition. So, as you've probably seen recently in some mod reviews, where we go and pick up the crop, the cereal crop. Obviously, the grain will go in there, but the straw will get picked up by this chopper and chucked into here. And I've bought one of these trailers, and the other one is leased. I bought this little chopper head thing, and I've leased the header as well. So, oh, actually, we've gone over the free limit here. Um, we'll get that sorted in a bit, but yeah. This is very nice, but not as nice as what part of the thumbnail is going to be. We're getting classy now, folks. Because obviously we sold the 9x20 combine for 98.5. So just bought that, the class challenger. And also we bought a class um, forage wagon. 56, no not 56, 51,000 capacity. the 53 sorry so yeah this is gonna be very nice for us it's gonna be helpful to our size operation and to make less on a dime Ooh. so what we'll do is we'll get this up to field 7 ready then we'll take the TX36 up to the eastern islands we'll get the workers started on the harvest and be interested to see where that goes. Bit of how much straw we're going to get. Yes, it's going to take a while, I know. And also, I've spent 55 grand clearing our debts off because I forgot we had that 100 grand loan still to pay off, so I paid 55k off of it. I will pay the other 45 off. Oh, turned a bit too sharp, you decker. Oops. Oh, don't get stuck. There we go. Now we're stuck on some road signs here. How does that work? There we go. Must have got co-op somewhere that sucked the tracks from rotating properly, but yeah. Get the TS36 up there, and yeah, we're interested to see how much straw they get. That's what that's the main reason why I've leased it, it's just for the straw purpose, so we don't have to go around and pick it up afterwards. And this us is at 13 miles an hour. I think the other one was a bit slow. It's all beautiful grass here, that's going to be converted to some lovely signage. Yes, oh, I do like the look of this. Very classy indeed. Oh, if I can keep it in a straight line. Yeah, so I think with this, what we did was we let it, we wind rode it, then we let it grow again, then we moved it again, so that's why we get some big piles here. 
and already after our first pass, we're nearly full. Actually, we actually might be... No, I think we'll have a bit of room left at the end here. But yeah, this is just one pass, and that is, what, 50,000 litres? 51, so... How much we got? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that is going to be what? Including the one we've got, eight hundred and fifty thousand years of silage. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of cash for us. That's what, how much is that going to be for us? About 780k, I think, once. But yeah. So go and. get you. But yeah, also, some money we got was we sold the herbicides of Spurgeon and that in the tank. Yeah, our uh, size is just turn um weeds off because it's, it's just getting too finicky. It was every time just weed after weeds after weeds kept them popping up. And yes, if we're on a small farm, it ain't that bad. But now where we are at, we pretty much got nearly one entire island plus a third, well, about a quarter of a second island. It's going to take a while for us to get everything all herbicide and spread. Oh, didn't realize how slow this was here. But yeah, let's go get this up to the island and we'll start getting some beautiful barley and some straw. And see, I did um, correct um, the worker plowing, well, not plowing, stone field one barley. And I'm thinking, since we get a lot of straw from this field, we'll just do field one barley, I think. Uh, so you've actually completed your task. Also, the header is the Roaster Smash 5 meter header compared to the TX32 in game or well, base game header of 4 meters. So I think it's going to be worth it. And it will do a good job of it. So, what's the speed here? 6 miles an hour. I think this will be able to cope with it. 6 miles an hour. You can see here. Sure is filled up now. And actually, by the looks of it, it's filling up at the same time at the same rate. Will that still work with it? Yes, it does. On a bit of a tangent there, but uh, it's going to fill very quickly. So that's uh, one thing to note. Uh, we're really going to go back and forth with this a lot. So I'm thinking it might be worth getting transport the things back and forth, um, the traders, and empty them into the site at the main farm. Yes, I could just dump them somewhere and then pick them up again, but that's, that's sort of deleting the purpose of why I'm sort of doing it this way in the first place. So yeah, we'll get this field here done with party. The others will do something else, perhaps canoe or something. Or we actually might do wheat. I'm thinking it's do some of cereal crops for a change. Missed a bit there, we'll do that a bit. But yeah, I'll quickly get this field done, folks, and I'll meet you once we are in field two. Barley, I think. So, get you on the go. And we'll get 
get the pick up. Don't know where the tree has gone to or the decking on the back. Might have gone off obviously with the whole issues of with losing my power cut in the last episode and having to buy everything again. And I actually I didn't buy everything because actually I completely forgot. And also I had to reinstall all the mods and I thought I installed the gold production mod. But no I have not so we've lost the gold production facilities and all the gold that we produced. But I'll get that sorted off camera perhaps for the next episode because you can't sell the gold anyway until Tuesday and it's Saturday so I might just cram some yeah propane off camera in how much has he actually done that tiny little stretch and Bet they're almost full, surely. We'll destroy this. Damn. We just see what happens when the shore is filled up. I want to see actually what happens here. I'm guessing it'll dump out onto the ground, surely. No, it just it just stops. Fair enough. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about it. Dishes it out actually at the back. But yeah, we'll go and disconnect you. Back up a bit. get the pickup in. I should first be I might turn crop destruction off. Plant growth I just put on slow for now just because we're doing everything at times five and all different bits and bobs we're doing. Sorry. Okay so we'll go and pick you up. Obviously we have to get the thing ball trailer in that here in the second to empty the combine itself. Where's the where's the tree hitch to? Oh it is that it's right there is on an the angle. That's a pain. So yeah, we'll go and grab you. of ours at the moment, I think about 12 meters or something like that.
12.2 and 12.0. So yeah, actually spot on. Obviously with the class, that is what, 550 North Power it's got? Or 510, close enough. So if we go to... Cedars. We can get some humongous ones. We can go with the Bor Borgo route if you want to. Or there is one I do want. It's the Star uh, 44 route. Right? Is it that one? Or is it other planters? I wonder. Could be that one there, but let's double check. Oh no, it's just the one I want because this, it does all the base game crops. So it does. Well, I should, yeah, it does, yeah. So, obviously, it does the usual corn, sunflower, soybeans. Sugar beets, cotton, but also there's wheat, barley, canola, oats, grass, and is that oilseed radish? So I think this is going to be the next route for us. Yes, it needs to fill up constantly. We have a fertilizer option, yes or no. That's thing, I think. If we can get two of those, 330 horsepower, what's the power of our two of those? And then we don't have to worry about fertilizing because what we could go with is down here. So we can get you. Probably want narrows for this one because I was going to go over crops and that. So if we go for all the bells and whistles, that's going to be another 220k. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, plus... Will you be on the crop protection or... So yeah, that's going to be... About... F yeah, I think all said and done, when we earn that big, big money from the soilage, perhaps this episode or the next episode, That's going to be the plan, folks. That's why we've got the money from the barring now. And the straw as well. Obviously, with the straw how it is with this chopper thing, you don't have to worry about painting it. Why not we actually keep this, I don't know, because yes, it's all good now, but we do need. At the moment, the mod is only for the TX32. If you get a chopper on something like our case combine at the moment, or God forbid, back of that, that would be an absolute beast of operation there. But yes, just so that it's done. Two passes. And it's, it's, it's going to take a while. I have something like a 20,000 year capacity combine with that chopper mod there and that would be absolutely epic. And actually how much straw do we need at the moment for our cows and that? So yeah, we've got enough for another 5 days worth, but obviously we want more cows so... Depends on how much straw we can get from this field alone. enough I might just say we we'll just do this fill with the straw and that and then uh, we'll continue on as normal we'll send this back get a better header get a 12 meter header for our case combine show you for the service tank Yeah, we've got 25,000 of these at the moment. Just for this short bit here, we're going to get a lot of... Yes, we could just... lose it and bait it. That's not a bad option. Oh. 
shrug and stop there. But yeah, I think what we'll do, folks, is I'm going to continue on with this for a bit with harvesting that. And I think I'll see you folks in the morning, I think. Because I think, yeah, we are to bed soon. We'll get the worker a night off. Got to be nice to our workers. Unfortunately, I think we'll leave the rules and that, so. Can't get the workers for indefinitely. So, yeah, we'll get this done. Probably call it quits about 8 o'clock, and yeah. I'll see you folks in the morning. And we are back folks, some time has passed, and yes, um, we got the harvesting done on fields 13 and 14. Um, with the chopper, I did about 3 quarters of field 13, then it's got to the point where it was getting too long in that. So I set that back, we got about 150,000 litres of straw, loosely, and then with the rest of the field 13 and 14, got our normal combine, uh, we bought a header and yes, we just pretty much got everything all collected and left the straw swath on the ground so we will be in that. Won't be in this episode, I don't think. We'll perhaps use it in the next episode. But yeah, also, we got six normal sheep wool pallets. I did have two of these last episode, but I think with the whole electric issues, um, these were gone so yeah so I bought four this time and what we're going to do is we're going to get these pallets here and we're going to load them on to the boat not on a trailer um, thank you to Mr Jim who gave me some advice on what to do is pretty much is rather than do it onto a trailer then put the trailer onto the deck end of the barge where we'll quit. Actually instead just put them on I'll put them on or drop this off onto the barge and then we'll just leave it as that tight down and hopefully this should work. Oh yeah there's this bit of cleaning for animals. Um pet cleaning at the moment because also the brooms are have been distinct or oh, sorry not decent, I haven't enabled the mods, so yeah, that will be sorted in the next episode, so yeah. Apologize for a bit of the messiness of last this episode and the last episode, but from the next episode onwards, normal service will resume. Ooh. Do not want to do that. So yes, we've got one full egg pad there, that's 28,000 years. And we've got ooh, four normal uh, pallets of wool. get the other two then I think what we'll do is we'll sell those this episode we'll sell the barley and also the reason why money's gone up because I have taken out an extension loan of 200k see it there we're at 200k that will be paid off very quickly that, that's gonna be our first priority before anything else I think I don't know, we'll may keep it for the time being. But yeah, we've got that to do, and we've got Field 7 to run, because I have not touched that. I've unloaded obviously the first from that, I've not touched it since, so... I think we'll just get this... Let's just do some bits around the farm first. Also, we need to fertilise our crops, because... The only reason the time has passed because I actually left on times 120. That means our fields 1, 2, and 6 are nearly ready to harvest and they need to be fertilized again. Right? Yeah, fertilized the second time. So, yeah, we get a lot. So, we've got a couple of things to do in this little episode here. It shouldn't be as long as the previous episodes, hopefully, not. Go. Turn ourselves off. There we go. We'll 
turn to into life. We can see we've got 156,000 years off barley. And look at that lovely straw. Put the cover on you, so we'll drive you down to the dog carrier, get you unloaded, and then I think, yeah, we'll, we'll set everything off first of all before anything else, I think. So, yeah. So, here we are. Reversed around, so hopefully we can get a bit of a better angle. But caught on the blade stump, I think. Up there to our right. Oh, come on. Chop you down. Stuck on now. Oh, it's up on there for enough. We'll deal with you in a sec. Just do it one by one, I think. Come on, Gil. Just unhook it and it'll unload still, but nope. So get this all on then. Actually, I think we'll do. We'll sell the walnut first because all the best place to sell that is at boat unload station one. For the eggs, it's actually number two, but I think the prices are so. So close, so it ain't gonna be much of a difference. So I think we'll quickly get this sold before the price of the eggs drop even more. So get you on. Flaps up. Yeah, we should just about have enough fuel to get to boat on station one. Worst comes worst, we could always top up up there because there is a fuel point up there, I think. So yeah, I'll quickly get us up there, folks. I'm not going to do a time lapse of this, just quickly get up and I'll show you once we get up there and see how much money we can get from these eggs and our first pallets of cotton. Not cotton, wool. So here are folks approaching boat under the station number one. So here we should have to do is just pull up here. So 8,000 for the... Why aren't the eggs being... Perhaps I'm do. It's most likely me doing something wrong. Try to think, is it me doing something wrong? It very much could be just me, folks, rather than anything else. Perhaps... Yeah, not even the single box is being taken, so it's not the pallet itself. But we're going to scrap that idea for now because I've just lost an egg pallet. Well, we're going to scrap that for now because um, I've actually lost one of the egg pallets. Got the barge stuck, uh, tried to rescue it, um, went a bit too heavy and lost the egg pallet. Still retrievable, but I think, yeah, we'll do that later on off the camera I think, or at least recover it and set it in the next episode. But yeah, anyways, well, uh, bloody hell, I thought I had this loaded up, but no, I do not. And no siree. Let's get you back up. There we 
we go, spike you up. What else could I do wrong in this episode? Not much more, hopefully not. way of doing it. I mean, the best way would be to get like, a conveyor belt, so that we can put one end of the conveyor belt underneath the trailer, but... Oh, anyways. We'll spill a bit of barley on the decking. Well, that'll wash out. Is that barley or is that mud? No, that's barley. I'm getting it all over. Well, hopefully this time send the barley is less um, chaotic. Best place to sell you boat to this unknown station number two. Uh, we should get about 160 grand for that. I'll take that any day of the week, folks. So, yeah, let's go quickly do that, shall we? Here we are, folks. I had a boat unknown station number two with our grain here. And let's go and sell it, shall we? Make some cash, then we'll get some mode Because actually, actually, we'll fertilize our fields first, then we'll do some mode Because actually, the grass is actually ready to mow again, so. Go unload the barley. We'll switch you off there. I will hop into you. And we'll go and pick up the mowers. That's uh, I think it's my field seven I left them out in the little shed there. Let's see how much money we can make. on normal economy there for a sec but yeah 160 grand well 73 pounds off but so yes we can use that repay off the loan but I think I'll just keep the loan for now I'll pay that back slowly and that's over the coming episodes because I want I want to get the new equipment first of all I want to get the Oh, what was it? On the fertilizer spreader, the Stara, 44 road drill, get two of those. FPS 
stuff so for them, I don't know why around that area there, even though it's got the early riser planter and a pallet off, I guess that's herbicide. It's not fertilizer, definitely not. Man, that stump is actually doing my head in that is. How many times I've hit that, I do not know. Plenty enough. Over the death bridges. But yeah, we can also look at getting another tractor. I think in if you get another big tractor, 300 horsepower tractor, I would get like another Challenger um, class like we've got. I just want to have different tractors. Yes, I'll get all the same ones, but that'd be pretty boring. There is a couple that have interest me. Should we have a quick look now, could we? So if we go to large tractors. I think the John Deere Seminar or Defense, something like that. Could go with the Retract Stigers, but that's a bit more expensive. My next furry, has that got a flexi? Yes, I asked. Well, could go with a Massey Ferguson, could we? 8700S. That goes up to 405, but that's 320 grand series. 3.52 for a quarter of a mil. Twin mils, of course. Oh, we can actually change the look of this. Oh, actually, I do like that. Oh, I sure we do like that. I think we'll keep with the John Deere green, I think. But yeah, 262 we need. These games have his eggs, like we would have had them plenty by now, but... But you can see here, that's our beautiful grass. And that shows, speaking of getting a bigger wind rover, because there is a bigger version of the fence one that we've got. So go to wind rows. So yeah, we currently got this one, 42 grand, the former 10, 165 Pro, but if you get the 14055 Pro, yes it's double the price, and not that much bigger, only 5 meter, 5.5 meters, but it's going to be worth it, so yeah, I think we'll go with that, I think. We won't go and buy it straight away, I don't think, we'll get that in a bit, I think. Let's just get this mode done first of all, shall we? Let's get you backed up. There we go. Let's get you there as well. Make sure it's swathing. Yeah, swath dropping. Let's go to you. And there we go, folks. Let's go and peek you up. So let's go and we'll take you up to field seven ready. Then I think we'll do the swap now, I think. As boss workers do now, we can do that. And also what we can do is actually fertilize the fields. A little bit skew if you there. So yeah, we'll drop you off here a sec. Try to think where I left you to over here. Yeah. Just got the map up set to make sure to see where it was, but yeah, there's the beta there. And yes, we did get one hay bale because I did um, quickly fill it up because it had about Five and a half thousand litres of hay in there, so we've got another hay bit. We'll deal with you, that we'll deal with you whenever, but yeah, let's go to the shop. Let's get sell this, and we'll power it, then sell it, and then we'll get the brand new one. I think we should get about how much 
much this is worth at the moment. So yeah, 26 and a half. So yeah, about 30k we're going to get. So actually we can sell the tether because we don't need peg. Yeah, with TMR what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy it, I think. It's probably the less of a factor around it is. We'll get the silage, make money from the silage. It's not unrealistic because our main farmers, main farmers do buy a lot of their stuff in. Not many farmers have the ability, the tools, or just the time even to make TMR. So yeah, we'll buy TMR. We'll buy it up north at the import crate, whatever it is. Flick you around. Straighten up. So we'll drop you off there. I was going to grab the young one sec. And there we are. Drop you off. Get out you. So 32 grand and 14. 0.6k so yeah it covers at least half of what this is going to cost us so go and to you that's the one we want we'll drop you off up by the field then we'll take this we'll hook up to the fertilizer spreader and then we'll get some work done I think Where is it to at the moment? I think I left it up here, didn't I? Yeah. She do have a contract on Phil 16? Yeah, let's do the contract. Since we're up there, let's do our contract. Get out of the way with. So, crop shouldn't really ripen until about 5 o'clock, so. Which what we could do is. Roof on snow. Nope, didn't want to unfold you. See, so right by the edge of the field. So once we're done mowing the worker, we can get the worker to windrow all of this to a, a bigger pile. So if I'm not mistaken, with the amount of size we're going to be producing, that's going to be like what? About 1.2 million? So I said 800k beforehand, so yeah. Around about a million at least. Oh, knocking you over. And what day are we on at the moment? Sunday, so in a couple of days time, once I get the gold production facility back up and running, we can actually sell some gold. So let's go and get you all lined up. So yeah, you're all lined up now, more or less. There we go, that's what I want. So yeah, we'll get you dropped off there. And we'll take this to field 6, we'll do that contract then, I'll meet you folks at fields 1 and 2, to get field 6 fertilised. And then once we're all done here, I think that's pretty much coming up to the end of the episode here, I think, folks. But yeah, here we are folks, I'm um, just going to pick this up because I forgot we actually had a bucket. As you see here, we've done most of field 1, just got to do that little bit of it, then we're off to field 2, then field 6. But yeah, the money has gone down a bit, um, 
couple of reasons. One is the animals. Um, let's go to cows. I got rid of the black and white and brown cows. I bought black and white cows instead, and I did like an odd number, so I just bought up to 75. It was nice and even. So yeah, we've got 75 cows at the moment, 206 sheep, and obviously chickens were at max capacity of 500. But yeah, we're going to get this because we're going to quickly clean up the animal pens because that is absolutely driving me mad of just how filthy they are. But So do the chickens first of all. And also I did have to buy a rear weight as well. And also we actually got something else from the store to help us with compacting the silage and that's or the chaff. It's a bit expensive. But I think in the long run well, in the short run at least it's gonna be worth it. So just get the last bit of the chicken feed up. Go. How's our chicken doing on feed? Oh, they got plenty. They got nine days worth. So is she. They got plenty of feed. Especially the bit I put back in. So next we'll do the sheep. How's our sheep doing? Twenty-three hundred years at the moment. So I do like this high capacity bucket. I say it's not much feed, but it makes a right old mess of us. Nope. Ah, bugger. Tipped it. Ah. Yes, the sheep's still got room for food, so. I think I was just me being doping. Oh well, we'll clean that up later on. Let's see the cows, they're running at TMR, I think they got about, sorry, another day's worth, but they do have hay and silage that they can feed on. Yes, their production is going to be affected by 25%. But we'll get some definitely tomorrow, because we're getting the silage done today, well, get the grass fermented. We're we'll putting it into the bunker side tomorrow, so hopefully by midnight tomorrow, we'll get some nice cash boost. Here's another 2,000 litres of silage for them. much very made a difference visually but it's worth it so yeah let's show you what we've got shall you folks because you're gonna like this I think so we've got 106,000 years of chaff in here but compacting it with this at the moment is a bit challenging it gets this gets bossed about easy on these little berms here as well as even the forage wagons having trouble itself so what I've gone in least is this baby the K Steiger quad track? It's got the 470 engine, didn't go over top of engine specs. Still cost us a pretty penny. It's got a 2200 kilogram front weight and a 4500 kilogram at the weight, still with the pitches and that, so still two stuff and a PTL, I think. So if we go and grab this, so like, what's this? This compacted everything quite quickly. And as you see here, we're like four percent of compaction. And obviously, it does that this gets jackknifed so easily? Yeah, you see, just getting this thing out is a bit challenging. There we go. We get out eventually, but it's just a little bit of a faff and that, so. Also, we can use this for other stuff, or like when we get the star and that. And 
and like that, everything is at 100% already. And it's very good at squishing things here, so... That's because he says he's got flexible individual tracks, so... Like the back end that tilts and rotates. Individually as well, so when you get a bit of a stuck on a like uneven train here, like hopefully we can show you. We can just about see where like, the actual cab itself tilts, and even the, the tracks like that's completely flat. That's flat as well at the moment, but you see what I mean. Just like that, everything is nice and compacted. There we go. And that is good as these folks. But yeah, we've done all the wind rowing. So that's everything done. We'll get this worker off on its way. How are we on this field at the moment? So I think we'll get this one finished off here I think quickly then we'll go get you started on field 2 and correct you when you get yourself stuck. But actually field 1 it's not a square field, plus it's got these rocks on the edges so I might work and get stuck but you think they would use a common sense like go slightly around things but nope these are all farm sim workers we're talking about here folks so that's me expecting a bit much. It's not a long job, it's actually quite quick with the 80 meter spread we've got on this. The sanders is 12 meters, but we've got the spreader disc, so that gives us an extra 6 meters. So we'll go and get you sorted. There we go. We'll miss a little spot there, I'm not overly fast. Go get you all done. But well, yeah, folks, I'm gonna get this done, and I think it's time for a nice little time lapse. I think here. So yeah, we'll get this done, and I'll see you all in just a few short moments.
Yeah, we've done about, for say, not even half of that field, how we've got 371,000 litres of chaff. And unfortunately, as you don't see, uh, couldn't get field 6 unfertilized because just as we was about to start it, it decided to prop up now and sprite. I did think it was actually going to be rated to like 7 cars. We didn't actually finish until literally about half seven doing all of the planting and that. So yeah, it's ripened a bit earlier than I expected, which absolutely sucks for us, but it is what it is. I think what we'll do is we'll get this compacted and then we'll round off the episode here. It's getting a bit long now. I haven't tried to keep this short, but yeah. Next episode, what we'll be doing is pretty much finishing this off, get the bane done on Fields 30 and the 40 so we can actually use that. But yes, well, with all this, I think it's time to get a actual proper second combine. Perhaps the same one, perhaps a John Deere or something, I didn't quite know yet long ago with. But yeah, I think, yeah, certainly now it's time for two combines. It'll speed things up a lot quicker for us. Let's see if we can get this little mountaineer down. Actually, it gets a bit bogged down in the bits, but it doesn't get stuck. This is why I love the road track for silage. Because each of the, the tracks get on the angle here. Let's see where they flex at different, different angles. Absolutely abused. Now this is the small engine, this is the 470 engine, you can go up to 600 in 15, no, 700 horsepower I think it is. It's still that compaction of course, because you haven't compacted it in a while, and as well, I'm doing tight little turns here. I'm trying to get this main part here down. That's why I think when we actually do continue on, we'll start working our way backwards a bit, get the back ends filled up. Because that's thing I want is this to spit out at the front. And there we are, 100% compaction, folks. So, yeah. That's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, smash like the button. Feel free to comment down below. And if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please do ask for pushing for 2,000 subs. And I could do it with your support, folks, but if I ever choose to do, I hope they say all. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.